Thanks, Kevin. Facing one's fears is probably one of the most difficult things to do. But as Nicole Olivero shows us, she's on her way to overcome one of hers. Here's part two of her three part series as she shares with us her experiences learning how to swim along with her sweet baby girl. On yesterday's segment, Twyla and I survived our trip to the local pool. Yay! Today we're putting our skills to the test. Take a look. It's day two of our swimming lessons, and though I'm still a little nervous about the whole water and swimming thing, Twyla has already taken to the water with much more enthusiasm. Twyla did great on her second swimming class. She seemed like she was a lot more comfortable in the water today. Class two was much more technique intensive. In the second class, then we start working on a little bit more skills. Though the swimming lessons teach parents and their babies important swimming techniques, there's something even more valuable for babies and their parents to get out of the class. Honestly, I wanted the mommy and me time um, of just individual attention for him. This class, parents were challenged to give their babies some independence by holding them with noodles. I tried not to show it, but I was terrified. Twyla, on the other hand, was thrilled to let loose. Check out those turbo propellers. Though I was nervous, I felt a great sense of pride watching my baby do something at a year old that I didn't even have the guts to try at 20. I know one thing for sure, I've got to make the most of my swimming lessons too. Here goes nothing. At first, I was a little scared because my original instructor, Bailey, was on vacation. Jacqueline stepped in to take her place for the day and she worked me. As much as I wanted to protest, Jacqueline demanded my best efforts. I was even brave enough to try blowing bubbles for the first time. Good. How about, oh, absolutely not. Okay, well, sort of brave. Even though I couldn't bring myself to put my entire face into the water, I did manage to float by myself, if even for one second. For someone who avoided pools and lakes as recently as last summer, this is huge. Right, Jacqueline? She did great. She did her front float by herself, a back float by herself, and swam halfway down the pool. Yep, that's right. I'm making progress. Progress made. Much progress made. With day two of swimming lessons under Twyla's belt and mine, I think it's safe to say we've both got a little more kick than we had when we first started.